Team Defender. That's what it was called. This is the, this is the other game mode that I, I want to see return in Call of Duty Ghost. Team Defender. Kill confirmed. Classic. Uh, free for all. I'm serious. If you put classic free for all, team defender, and kill confirmed in Call of Duty Ghost, I will probably never ever play another Treyarch game ever again because they don't have, they only have kill confirmed. They don't have team defender. They have, well, I'm not going to lie, they do have, um, what's that? Oh, why, why am I forgetting all these game modes? They have that one game mode that's pretty, pretty awesome. The uh, hotspot or. Damn it, what is it called? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, man. It's like you hold down the spot until, you know, whatever. Anyway, this one is pretty cool because when you get... Oh, my goodness. When you get the flag, like, you get double XP. And I definitely did not mean to do that. Actually, yes, I did because I killed somebody. So... As long as we have the flag, as long as this team has the flag, we get double XP. Damn it, I just screwed up. It's pretty cool. It, it doesn't really mean anything for me because I'm at the max level and I'm not prestiging in this game. Because I'm not, I don't like the whole, the way they did prestige in Modern Warfare 3. Who killed me? I don't like that. See, this is what I hope uh, dedicated, dedicated server gets rid of. On his screen, I was like clearly there. In my screen, I was behind a building. Not a wall, not a piece of cardboard, not a piece of paper or a building. Like, you're not just gonna, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, anyway, yeah, it doesn't really mean that much to me because uh, I am at level 80. And like I said, I didn't prestige because in this game, it, it's like, the classic prestige where I did not mean to do that where everything happens and uh, everything gets reset I don't like that I never liked that that's why I never prestiged until Black Ops 2 where things reset but it's like you don't oh my goodness you didn't um once you unlock the gun like everything you had unlocked before was unlocked already so you didn't really have to reset didn't really have to restart and I like that so kill the flag carrier I was in kind of a stupid spot for him I have to turn on my TV because the sound from the game is delayed so uh, it's throwing me off ever so slightly. I'm not exactly having a great game here. Uh, I am, kind of. This is not one of those game modes where you want to have high kill streaks like I do, mistakenly. Uh, you definitely want to do your team a favor and maybe run a little specialist or just have like UAVs and your normal 357. Uh, I guess uh, for me the the way that I play this game I don't do the whole I, I'm not I'm not really comfortable using the high kill streaks because I don't stay alive long enough to earn them and that's mainly because I play the objective oh I killed that flag carrier again I need to get that flag and I need to get somewhere very special and secluded somewhere where I can just hold that flag Ooh. Oh, there's so many of those kills that just it, it hurts it hurts my soul when I get killed like that it hurts more than just my feelings oh I'm about to get him did I get the flag? do you have the flag? do we have the flag? somebody grab the flag I'll get the flag <laughs> Jesus Christ guys alright ah, ah, I was so close come on somebody get the flag get the flag get the flag get the flag Oh, and again. I'm a flag hog, man. Like, I want that flag in this game. I don't... I, I don't want the other team to have the flag. We're losing right now, and it's, like, killing me. I'm one of those guys that just get blown up by C4 in random positions. That's weird. I didn't even do anything to that guy. Like, I had... I was climbing up a ladder for crying out loud. Who kills people that just figured... Climbs up ladders? 
Anyway, I'm one of those guys that just want to win. I want to play the objective. I want to win. That's why you really don't see me get high kill streaks like that. I have the ability to get high kill streaks, but I don't like the way it's either I play very cautiously and get high kill streaks or I go all out and I play the objective. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I had a game. I had a game not too long ago where I got I went all the way up to the uh, AC 130. But by the time I got it, the gameplay had like ended like it was like AC 130 ready for deployment. And it was like, boom, victory done. Take that AC 130 and, um, you know, send it back to base. Oh, man, that's crazy. I need. No, I don't want that. Here we go. Let's run with the PP90 M1. That's cool, bro. Hang out with the spawn. Come on, man. Let me get a kill. Just let me get a kill, man. Dang, man. This is what I don't get. Like, nobody is really trying to do anything to get this, this flag. And we got EMP, so everything is screwed up. That's, that's, that's why I generally like to use the support. I like it because when people try to have all these, these kill streaks up in the air, say you got your whatever. Your, uh, your UAVs and your AC 130s and your uh, like a predator missile and uh, that that other kill streak that kills like a lot of missile that shoots a lot of missiles. When you hit the EMP, it shuts down all that. If you have an attack helicopter, a paved low AC 130 up in the air, you hit the EMP, it all comes crashing down. You hurt a lot of feelings doing that. People spend a lot of time getting those kill streaks. When you hit the EMP, you stomp on their dreams, and I love doing it. So that's why EMP is one of my favorite kill streaks. I mean, is it, can you even call that a kill? I guess you can call it a kill streak because you're killing dreams. I'm not having it in the game caviar studios. And I'm out.